Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and arrived to the last day of school before summer break. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be hanging out with um, someone, I guess, uh, not your hero and Yuko, uh, which I'm still, I think I am going to end up romancing Yukari. I actually have never seen, I might have asked about this in a previous episode, I've never seen a place that documents all of the different um, changes that you get when you romance a character in these games. Uh, usually just because they're very, sm I, I guess just because they're very small, they don't really amount to much. But if anyone knows of like a website or a blog or something like that that shows all of the different dialogue changes in this game that you get for romancing someone, uh, let me know in the comments. So we can either hang out with Maiko, Nozomi, or Fuka. I don't think I'm gonna hang out with Suemitsu. Maiko could be nice to hang out with. Actually, how high up is Maiko with her social link? Because if she's just about to be maxed out, I might hang out with her. Five? Okay, that's not as much as I thought we had. We're at rank six with Fuka, so might as well keep the ball rolling with her. What do you have to say? Dude, I was trying to pick up some chicks the other day at the station, but it didn't go as planned. It's hard when a girl has her guard up, huh? Maybe a more honest approach would work better. I don't like talking to you. Fuka. After school. Have you been to the used bookstore at the strip mall? I've been wanting to check it out, and it'd make me really happy if you came along too. You can find me in the second floor hallway if you'd like to join me. Sounds lovely. So this is just a reminder to get, uh, I probably should have said this earlier, but get as many uh, school-related social links out of your way when you can, because we're just about to go on summer break, where we only have the social links that are outside of school, such as uh, Suemitsu, Maiko, and the old couple. Oh, Yuki-kun, are you busy today? I'm heading to the used bookstore right now. Do you want to join me? Hell yeah. Oh, great, thank you. I've been looking forward to a good cookbook for a while now. Do you think they'll have any? Mm. There weren't really that many cookbooks, were there? I'm sorry. I didn't realize that store mainly sold manga. I should have looked the place up beforehand. Mm. What is it? Oh, um, do you mind if we take a seat? Do you remember what I told you before? I mentioned that I don't really like going to bookstores. Yeah, I remember. Well, about that. I had a bit of a bad experience in a bookstore once. I think it was at the start of last April. Someone took a picture of me. They accused me of stealing. I'm not very tall, right? So when I was reaching for a high shelf, I accidentally knocked some books down. Well, a few of them landed in my bag. I went to take them out and put them back on the shelf. But some girl from my class took a picture of me with her cell phone. She even threatened to show my parents. That's messed up. Thank you. But don't you think I'm stupid for letting this get to me? If I'd just spoken up, I could have settled it right there. I know that. But I... I still couldn't say anything back. All these negative thoughts kept running through my head. I thought no matter what I said, it wouldn't do any good in the end. But now, I want to believe that I can change. Whenever I'm with you, I feel like I don't get swept up in those negative thoughts. I know I'm being selfish, but... I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm making it sound like I'm just using you, aren't I? Th th that's not what I meant, really. What I'm trying to say is... I've really come to depend on you, and I'm really happy that you're there for me. That's all. Fuka expressed how she feels about me. My relationship with her is becoming more intimate. When he starts state. When he starts saying stuff like that, that's how you know you're getting close to the romance option. I'm pretty sure the romance option is always rank 9. I think it was different in the original Persona 3, where romancing a girl was at a different rank uh, for each girl. 
but I think they changed it to be nine here just to fit with the rest of the series. Oh, um, sorry. I'm always going on about my own problems. At this rate, I'm never going to be able to repay you. I should have just discussed my cooking concerns with everyone at the dorm, but... Somehow, I find myself always going to you for help. I want to hear your opinion, but more than that, I feel at ease when you're with me. I wonder why. I'm sure it's because you're a leader. That's why I depend on you so much. Is that the only reason? Huh? Uh, oh! Well, maybe that isn't the only reason. <sighs> Sorry, um, I, I think I need to go back to the dorm. I need some time to get my thoughts in order. Could we talk about this again later? <sighs> Thank you. I'm going to head back now. Fuka left. I decided to return to the dorm. Good evening. I'm pleased to see that you're well. <laughs> Your pills. <sighs> I noticed once again that a new ally has been added to the ranks. Well, I suppose it's more of a pet than an ally. Makes no difference to me. It seems what you told us of their intentions is true. How terribly lamentable. Now we have no choice but to intervene. <gasps> it is up to the individual how to use the strength they are granted. But to erase the Dark Hour would be denying the very power they possess. And that is the one thing we cannot permit. Fine. Do whatever you want. Hold up a sec. What's your role in all this? We know they asked you to come back. You know? You're really starting to piss me off. Nosy little shit. Yeah? Well, they're going down. You hear me? And if you're on their side, then you're going down too. Got that? I already told you, I'm done with them. Hey, Amada. Um... My name is Ken Amada. I'll be staying here for a while. I'll try not to be a bother, so please don't mind me. I think Amada-kun would get upset if he heard me say this, but don't you think he's kind of adorable? Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if this is what it's like to have a little brother. Data regarding the newest resident, Ken Amada. San has been logged. I am able to communicate with him at any time. Please leave it to me. Oh, right. He'll be staying at, in the dorm, but remember, he's not a member of C's. I guess that that's true. Although he did have the potential, according to Ikutsuki. Uh, so be careful what you say around him, and don't talk with him about anything regarding shadows. Not bad. Just one little kid stuck living with a bunch of high schoolers. Well, I suppose it's not the worst thing to happen. I don't know why I kind of gave him a southern accent there. Yuki, try to make an effort being nice to the kid. Don't need to tell me that. Oh, oh hello Yuki-san. Please allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Ken Amada. That's like the third or fourth time you've introduced yourself to me. That's Ken, written with the character for Dry. I just moved into the dorm. I'll be staying here for the summer. Mata, huh? And he's still in elementary school? Man, that's young. I don't know what it is about that kid, but my Junpei senses are going crazy around him. Either he's a little punk or he's way more mature than I am. Ask Yukari and she'll tell you it's the latter. I don't know, man. Is it just me? Hey! Hey, don't you th Hey, you don't think Amata kun is gonna end up getting involved in all this, do you? Uh... It's possible. Yeah. I guess you're right. Ikutsuki-san did say that he has the potential. So now that we're on summer break, I'm genuinely curious as to how close I was to 
uh, maxing out charm. So I'll go ahead and uh, try to rank up my charm just to see how close I was to maxing it out. And plus, once I get charm maxed out, um, I just won't have to worry about that anymore. And we won't have to worry about stats until like near the end of the game. It would have been very funny if I immediately ranked up on charm the day after I wanted to. Summer vacation begins today. A few messages. One from Bebe and one from Chihiro. Uh, Chihiro is the... I, I'm pretty sure I could have ranked up Bebe, but I couldn't rank up Chihiro, so I'll hang out with Chihiro here. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry for dragging you here. I thought about talking to my mom, but I don't want to worry her. I, it's just, ever since the money went missing, I've been feeling anxious whenever I'm alone. Uh, I'm happy to help. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was trying to not, not to depend on you so much since you've already done so much for me. Uh, but hearing you say that does make me feel a lot better. Chihiro seems happy. I feel like we became a lot closer today. Mm. I'll keep trying to think about what I can do about the missing money. But while we're together here, let's talk about happier things. We chatted for a while longer... We chatted for a while longer before I decided to go back to the dorm. Oh, hello! Come to think of it, have you heard about Bee Blue V? Or is it Bee Blue 5? Whatever it be, whatever it is. It's the shop in Polonia Mall, but there's a rumor that you can talk to spirits there. Sounds a little sketchy, huh? I wonder what kind of shop it is. Me too. What the hell could that be about? I forget what Bee Blue V even does. Oh, but we can hang out with someone today, so... Just gonna forget about that. Aika-san is a robot, right? You can't really tell whenever she wears normal clothes like we do. The Kirijo group must be super powerful to have invented a robot like her. So, he mentioned, I guess, wearing normal clothes like we do, which makes me think that, like, like, when would she have been dressed up in normal clothes in front of Amada? So I just imagine that, I guess, went into Makoto's room and, I don't know, started wearing his clothes or something like that. If this country falls apart, what will happen then? Would a war or something break out? I probably shouldn't think too hard on this. I mean, we're fighting to prevent that from happening. Yeah. A country is made up of its people, so if the number of lost keeps growing, then the whole country will eventually collapse. Uh, there's so much riding on our shoulders. Wait, seriously? Damn, I never thought of that. If that happens, how will I shop at the convenience store? Listen. I guess the concept is too big for your brain to comprehend. You're an idiot, you know that? I have conducted a simulation to predict the outcome. First of all, the lost are a strain on society since they drain resources but are unable to contribute anything. These individuals will also require caretakers, increasing strain on the workforce and other areas of society. With fewer and fewer people working, society's growth will plummet. Eventually, this country will no longer be able to sustain, it, sustain itself. The end, as people say. That's like one of her catchphrases, as as people say, or as they say. Mitsuru, I haven't hung out with you in a little bit. Oh, would you like to read a book too? Uh, improve my academics. Didn't say anything about- I don't think I've maxed out her book thing here, so... Let's do that. Do you ever feel encouraged reading about the influential figures of the past? Even leaders who forged great nations faced the challenges of interpersonal relationships. I feel that. Yes. It becomes easier to bear when you consider it something everyone has to go through. Or is it presumptuous of me to relate to such illustrious figures? Sorry, I didn't mean to distract from our reading. Shall we get back to it? Oh, look at the time. I think that's enough for today. That was a pleasant time together, hearing nothing but the sound of each other's pages. By learning about the exploits of renowned individuals, my academics have improved. I'd like to hear your thoughts on our reading again sometime. But for now, good night. Special training for track and field begins today. It's about time to leave.
Gecko Khan High School practice field. We trained all day to prepare for the competition on August 2nd. Hey, no slacking. Put your heart into it. You'll never beat high as say with that attitude. And the entire day is gone. So this is a thing about okay. Persona 3 is that um, the whole point is that you have a year to get all of this stuff done and, um, you know, spend time as much as you, uh, however you want and, uh, you know, try to get things done. But they also can't give you too many free days to just do whatever you want because then you would definitely be able to complete everything with ease and there wouldn't be, like, much of a balancing thing to the game at that point, so they do a lot of stuff where they just try to, uh, waste your... not waste your time. That sounds bad. But they try to make it so that a lot of days don't really count as a full day where you can interact with everyone. So it gives you more pressure, gives you a bit more of a time limit. Oh, that's right. Didn't you have training today? How'd it go? It was no sweat. Oh, yeah? You're tougher than I thought. Hey, if you think you can handle it, let's go to Tartarus tonight. It's a little less than two weeks to the full moon, so I kind of want to hit the bell pen. Before we do that, I just want to say, today, July 27th, is the birthday of Tatsuya Suo from the Persona 2 duology. In 2009, he'd be 28. Oh, we can hang out with Igus. Uh, so I'm going to do that in a bit. I just noticed that. I was too focused on talking about Tatsuya. Um, TV. Hi, I'm Trish with today's installment of Who's Who. Today's subject is Trish's type of guy. He's smoking hot and still in his 20s. It seems he wants to be a policeman, just like his brother. The next is, the next is news. Pain, pain, go away. So, yeah, Tatsuya does have an older brother who's a policeman, Katsuya Suo. No, I'm not joking. Yes, that is his name. We can hang out with Mitsuru or Igis. I'll go ahead and hang out with Igis since we're... Since she's the, the newbie here. I wonder if the next shadow will be even stronger. Maybe they'll be drained and weak because of the summer heat? Nah, not happening. Is Akihiko around anywhere? Probably not. He's either out training or maybe he's talking to Shinji. Speaking of Shinji, I'm pretty sure Ken's Japanese voice actor uh, is Megumi Ogata, who voices Makoto Naegi from the Danganronpa series and also voices Shinji from the, uh, from Evangelion. So we have Makoto, Shinji, and then the voice actor for two other characters also named Makoto and Shinji. Um. Is it correct to, that you tend to the planters on the rooftop, Makoto-san? I am interested in, in attempting horticultural activities as well. If such a task is within your purview of operations for the day, would it be acceptable for me to join? Hell yeah, go ahead and help us with plant and stuff, I guess. I'm both prepared and motivated to undertake this ap action. Shall we commence gardening? Yeah, let's go! Understood, I'll begin making my way to the rooftop with maximum efficiency. Oh, very puzzling. The plants seem much livelier than they did when we started. Do you suppose... They're happy that you are tending to them. I think so. Fascinating. There's no data on this, but it seems like you understand them. Hello, plants. I will be tending to you as well this time. Don't worry. I'll make sure to decrease my pressure output. But if anything starts hurting, just raise your left hand. Or rather, your left leaf. I had some prior knowledge of plants. But this was my first time observing them directly. These little seeds and buds in the earth can morph and change so quickly. Is this proof that they are living as well? How fascinating. I would like to watch these plants grow and document this experience for my records. I will tend to them with my full power. I guess it's so adorable. She's just this the best. More time than I'd anticipated. I will need to run more simulations to ensure there are no delays next time. Thanks to the care we put in, it looks like this will be a big harvest. It's gotten late. We should head back now.
Anyways, back to training. Uh, like mentioned, this is going to be going on for several days, so... Yeah. Gekko Khan High School. Preparing for August 2nd. My body feels light, but my time wasn't that good. Didn't even get dialogue during that scene. Apathy syndrome is on the rise again. People seem to have calmed down a bit despite the media, but there will be serious problems if we don't end this. We must defeat the last six shadows, beginning with the one we anticipate on the next full moon. If the number of the lost continues to increase, this city will fall into chaos. You're just exaggerating, right? Then again, maybe not. Yukari has a hangout that we could go to. Did we finish your hangouts or not? I don't know. I don't know why I'm asking you a question as if you're going to respond to me. We've been very busy this month. As a result, I'm not sure that we've been going- I'm not sure that we've been going to Tartarus often enough. Please make sure you're prepared for the next full moon. We will have to do that eventually. Um, as always, we're gonna wait till we're a bit closer to the full moon, but that does mean we'll be going within the next few days. So I'm not saying it's bad or anything, but when you've got a little kid staring at you, it can be kind of awkward. <laughs> Sonata-san, you always wear those gloves when you fight, right? I hear that once you put them on, you're undefeatable. Yeah, it's no big deal, really. Um, um can I help you? Yeah, let's talk. Um, um, you know the incident that occurred because of the Kirijo Group's experiments? They said that it happened because they were trying to collect shadows. Doesn't that mean shadows existed before Tartarus and the Dark Hour even appeared? How long have shadows been around then? A city in chaos, huh? Sounds like something out of a movie. But what's real scary is that it can totally happen, and we're the only ones who can do anything about it. If I may speak, I will fight with guns during battle. However, I am not heavily equipped, and my damage output and accuracy are both average. On the flip side, I would say that I am quite stable. I would be a good recommendation for beginners. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, from what I remember, she is really good in battle. She was one of my final, uh... In my playthrough, she was one of the characters that I took to the final boss fight. My classmates let me a DVD. Curious while it's gotten pretty good ratings. I could use a break. I was thinking of see. Oh, I don't even think I've started your thing here. Yeah, let's watch it together. Yes. All right then, let's get into it. Whoa, that teaser was so dramatic. It's like the stuff from overseas. This series is known for having a strong female protagonist. I've been curious about it for a while, but I heard it also has horror elements. Sounds exciting. Wait, really? You're totally fine with that stuff? That's actually perfect. I'll try to push through then. Oh wait, it's starting! Man, the tension is palpable. That cliffhanger really made me want to know what happens next. I guess it was more zombies than horror, huh? The main girl was just an ordinary person, but she stood so strong in the face of adversity. <laughs> I love that. I feel like I was able to focus on the story thanks to you. I'll let you know when I borrow the next one. By observing the main character, I've begun to understand the charm of an adult. Hmm. I'm gonna head off to bed. Good night. I don't feel as bad now that I know that, um, that I was still, like, fairly far off from charm, so even if I did, like, decide to not spend time with, uh, some of the people in the dorm, I still probably wouldn't have maxed out charm. Maxing out, out both courage and charm by this point of the game is pretty hard. <laughs> This is our year! Hyacinth has got nothing on us! I'm sure at this point, if I was following like a 100% guide or something okay. like that, then I would have, um, then I would have already maxed out both of those stats, but I want I don't want to follow a guide 100% to a T. I still want to give us some room to breathe. I want to make this a more personal LP. Um, based off of the decision, off of the decisions I make in the moment, um, that way it feels a bit more lively, you know? 
Hi, how's your day? The others aren't back yet. Kirijo Senpai said they'd been they'd be here by midnight. Maybe we shouldn't go to Tartarus today. Fair enough. Come to think of it, the crops I planned on the roof sh should be ready to harvest by now. I'll go ahead and harvest those, and then we'll end off the episode. Awesome. Thank you very much, I guess. Harvested on August 8th. Anyways, that's probably going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue our training and hopefully take down Hayase in our competition for the Hyo-Oh Cup. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!